Hey y'all, this is Rhonda from Rhonda's Country Kitchen. And um, I've had several people request just some quick homemade goodies. Um, I made that little Christmas crack the other day and um, it went over pretty good. And um, I have told several people, I said, well, I've got lots of recipes that I use um, that I just make uh, my little goodies into gifts. And um, we did touch on that a little bit on the Christmas crack, how um, I have always used my kitchen for little goodies when my kids were younger, for teacher's gifts, for coworkers, and um, it is just from the heart, so it makes it even more special. But I've got several little goodies I'm gonna try to do today and try to hurry up so um, I won't keep your time but or, or waste your time or any anything like that i hope you don't think i'm wasting it but um my first little goodie i'm gonna be making some homemade uh almond joy the little bars so um i love those little things uh i am not actually a coconut lover but i do love those little things so um it's just a few little uh ingredients uh, i'm gonna start with some sweetened coconut flakes and I'm gonna put about four cups of this in here and uh, throw those in there. One, two, come on out, you can do it. And I like the no-bake stuff. I, I like you just melt some chocolate and go, you know what, I'm just gonna use this whole bag. It'll be all right. I'm not gonna have just a little bit of coconut hanging out in the pantry. All right, now we got our little sweetened coconut and make sure you get the sweetened coconut. Uh, do yourself a favor there. I'm going to add two cups or maybe more now that we've used the whole uh, bag. So two cups of powdered sugar. Now I'm making these first because it is best after I make my little um, my little logs or whatever you want to call them. It is best to put them in the freezer for just a little while before uh, you dip them in that chocolate. So that's what we will do. I'm just going to give this a little stir, little mixy mix here. Now I have toasted me some almonds. Um, and if you don't like the almond joy, you just make yourself some mounds, honey. So, so remember that little cut, that little commercial, Almond Joy's got nuts, mounds don't. Cause sometimes you feel like a nut. All right, I'm gonna uh, put about, uh, let's see, I'll do about a teaspoon of this good old vanilla in here. Very little ingredients, y'all. That's what I love, I do love that. Now, this normally calls for about a half a cup of condensed milk, but um, y'all know I use a little more. So I'm just gonna give her a little whirl, see how it looks. You want it to be uh, good and sticky. And when you're trying to make those little rolls, you want it to stick pretty good and uh, hold together, that's what we're looking for. Just gonna give this a mix. I might need a little more in there, I think I am. Let's see, where's my little knife? Just gonna use it all. We ain't trying to waste nothing around here, y'all. All right. And if it's too sticky, I'll just add a little more powdered sugar to it. It'll be just fine. I um, have got stuff all over my counter over there. Actually, my table back there. I've got all kinds of stuff, uh, little goodies that I hope to uh, get to. And I hope y'all will enjoy it. Oh, yeah, it's getting hard to, hard to mix her now. I might just put my gloves on and go in there with my gloves. Get it all mixed up. Lord, I've been getting a workout. Stirring all this stuff up. Alrighty. Kids love helping do this too. Uh, if you got some kiddos for their teacher's gift, they love getting their self in there and uh, making them some little gifts. 
especially when they're younger. Now when they're older, they're like, Mama, please, it's fine. Miss so-and-so don't want no gifts. Yeah, Miss so-and-so does want gifts. <laughs> She's expecting a gift, and we go going to give her one, so... All right, this is a little sticky, so um, we'll see how it goes. Put a little glove on here, because um, we will start making up those little balls. Now you can just really lay this in here, just make a whole, whole layer, tearing my glove up, make a whole layer, put your almonds on, and um, freeze it, and then just cut them. But uh, we'll see how we do this way. Like I said, we got to get these little suckers in the freezer. Now, I've just got some wax paper here and um, I have uh, sprayed it just a little bit. If you don't want to, don't. Now I'm just taking, y'all know about the size of, uh, whoops, you know about the size of a uh, Mounds Bar or uh, an Almond Joy. So I'm just gonna roll it like this in my hand. Kind of give it a little mash, a little what's up, and I'm gonna put it on the sheet. Just go give them a roll. You do want them to kind of be the same size. You don't want to have one that looks like a big old huge candy bar, looking like a king size, and then the other one's looking like a mini. So try to get it, I guess, as uniform as you possibly can. Boop, boop. Now after I get all of these made, I will uh, go back and stick two almonds on top. And you can even do this in little balls, make little almond balls. Uh, like I said, it's your candy. You, uh, you just do with it as you want. It's your little goody. I'm gonna be uh, making some little uh, thin mints. I don't know if y'all have ever done that before, but um, those are so, so very easy. The worst part about it is um, I love those little Andes candy, the little mint candies, and that's all it is. You are just simply going to melt those little candies and dip a Ritz in it and um, you've got your chocolate covered right there. And uh, so, so, so good. Um, I was in here unwrapping all of them. Me and Rustin got into a little bite. He was like, oh, I love those. He's like, I said, you can't have them. <laughs> yeah, I can't have them. <laughs> so roll these out. Boop, boop. Yeah, we're gonna definitely go give these a little freeze. Now I'm just gonna finish rolling these out. I know y'all don't wanna um, hear me rolling all this stuff out, but I'm gonna just roll these out, slip them in the freezer, and then I'll be back with those uh, little thin mints. <laughs> into the little mounds and I have put the little toasted almond I did toast them just a little bit um, to bring out that flavor and I'm gonna just stick them in the freezer for just a minute and we're gonna move on to another goodie all right the next little goodie y'all is uh, just two or three ingredients uh, it can be up to you um, I have got these little bag of Andy's candies and I hope I'm saying that right that's what I've always called them but the little um, the little mints and we're gonna make some little thin mints um, you know we will make them like the little Girl Scouts uh, do all right first of all I've got all these little candies in uh, the worst part like I said was taking these wrappers off trying not to eat them all <laughs> because they are so good and I'm just gonna melt these in the microwave and you're gonna melt it just like you do your little chocolates um, just do it for like 30 seconds and we're gonna give it a little stir see where we at 
and uh, revisit it maybe another 30 seconds. But um, you don't want to ruin them good candies, Lord. I've got my little Ritz here. Um, and we're just going to dip these Ritz in that melted chocolate. And um, I have crushed up some little mint, some little peppermints. You can buy this or you can uh, go to the Dollar Tree and get you some mints and crush them up like I did. Um, if you're trying to find goodies on a budget to give somebody, honey, don't you feel bad shopping at the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General? <laughs> it's the same stuff. All right, I'm gonna give it a little stir. And it's not quite there. But um, those ones on the bottom are melting pretty good. We'll put it back in there for 30 seconds. Just do 30 second increments. That's all you want to do. Because um, you don't want to overdo them. So, I've got my little crackers here ready. I've got me some wax paper ready to put them on. And um, I think I'm going to need a fork and that's about it. All right, I just got these out, so it's been another 30 seconds, and um, it had some big, it's got some big uh, pieces in it, but I'm just giving it a stir, let that melt. Um, I don't want to put it back in the microwave. This is what you're looking at. This is what you're going to see. All right. It is good. It's perfect now. Now, we'll just take our little Ritz. Dip it in there, gonna give it a flip with my fork here. You wanna get it coated real good. I just kinda knock the excess chocolate off the side and then it goes right on to that wax paper or supposed to. <laughs> All right, another one in. Just gonna give it a little flip. And I'm going to uh, leave it on the top side. Here we go. Now, while it's still uh, wet, you want to put uh, your sprinkles or your peppermint. Now, I have all sorts of sprinkles over here. You can do that. But um, these look just like the Thin Mints, y'all. Just like the, the uh, original cookies. I won't keep saying who, but... Y'all know who, y'all know who. All right. We're gonna get all that chocolate we can get, so that's why I'm knocking it off just a little bit. Let's just put a little sprinkle on. I'm gonna put some uh, little peppermint on these. They all pretty. And then I'll uh, put some different little sprinkles on some other ones. Those look so pretty, y'all. For Christmas, they are so pretty. And this is just a really quick gift. And you can make it in big batches. So, uh, you know, normally when you go buy somebody a gift, you put all that money in one gift. But this will really stretch. And uh, you can make several gifts out of this one if you own a little budget. Lord knows I did this with the kids. I'm telling you. We um, look for... Some cheap stuff, but was good. We didn't want to come across as cheap, but we were cheap. <laughs> so these were always a good go-to, all these little candies and stuff. You can even get the off-brand. I got me some Ritz on sale. So uh, you can go that route. You can get you some Dollar General crackers or Dollar Tree crackers. It'll be just fine. All right, I'm gonna just dip all of these and uh, I won't bore y'all with showing you all of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some little sprinkles and get these done so we can start something else. Cause I'm telling y'all, I got several things to get into today. All right, and I'll let you um, see them as I am finished with them. All right, y'all, these are all ready. It just took just a few minutes. They have already hardened up, already set, and got some uh, little pretty peppermint, some crushed peppermint. Um, I had a little extra over here uh, that I didn't put peppermint on um, for Russell. Uh, he likes that, but uh, he probably, he said it had uh, a really good peppermint flavor anyway. 
So uh, we done been in here sampling just a little bit, <laughs> telling on myself, but I um, had just a little bit of chocolate left. I could have did a few more, but um, this is all it is to it. It was super simple. Just the uh, really three ingredients, the Ritz, the Andy's candy, and some peppermint. And you didn't even have to put the peppermint on it, but it just makes it pretty. And um, we are gonna move on now to some easy fudge. All right, y'all, on to the next little goodie. Um, I am going to make the quickest fudge you have ever made in your life. All you're going to need on this is some vanilla um, icing right out of right out of the little tub and um, some peanut butter now I do have the crunchy peanut butter I think that little crunch in it will be good but all you're going to do uh, we're going to warm this up in the microwave and um, this is very budget friendly I got the icing for $1.25 and I got the crunchy peanut butter for $1.85 at um, Publix I'm not Publix sorry at Aldi I went to Aldi so I'm gonna just warm this up and you don't want it like boiling over warm you just go really just uh, warm it up I'm gonna do it about 20 seconds and I'll do the same with the peanut butter and we're just gonna mix that up and pour it in and that's gonna be a quick little goodie and uh, you can't go wrong with that. Um, like I said, it's three bucks for, uh, I'm sure it'll be a pound of fudge. So you can't get that nowhere. Now let's go ahead and warm this peanut butter up. I'm gonna do it because it's a little bit more in there, about 30 seconds. And I'm gonna just start uh, stirring this up just a little bit. And it's just, it's just loose, loosey goosey there. And uh, we're gonna just pour this in here while my peanut butter's getting right. Just poured right out. Now you can add all kind. I mean, you can do other things with it. You can swirl some chocolate in here. Uh, do just make it however you want to make it. Let's check this peanut butter. Let's see. And it don't matter if I use the same thing because it's gonna be mixed anyway. Yeah, it's still. Look at there. It's perfect. I'm just gonna dump this right in there. And it's not magic. It's gonna, it's gonna sit. It's gonna, let me close this. Feel something in the, you know, <laughs> feel like something's looking at me back there. Um, it's gonna sit just fine. Um, you know, all that cooking on the stove and doing your fudge. Hey, honey, this is, A, it's budget friendly, and B, it's quick, and I like both of those things. So I'm just gonna give this a little mix up. It's just this simple. All right. Now I think I, I'm glad I went with the crunchy. I want I want that little bit of uh, crunch in there, the little nuts in there, little peanuts. All right, got that all stirred up, and we're just gonna pour it. I've just got some uh, wax paper. Lord, I'm gonna go through some wax paper this holiday season. Here we go. Make sure it's all good on the bottom. You go pouring stuff out and there, there's the rest of it sitting down there nestled in the bottom of the, of the bowl. All right, we're gonna get this all out. Here we go. And we just gonna let this sit. We're gonna sit it to the side. Um, I'm gonna actually put it in the refrigerator for a little bit. And don't forget, we still got those little mound bars in the refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna get those out and work with those. But next, I think I'm gonna do some uh, little Ritz, some peanut butter Ritz crackers dipped in chocolate. My mama used to fix those all the time. The kids just loved them. 
We always have our, uh, we always had just the little hors d'oeuvres and stuff, uh, little goodies and little finger foods as we call them in the South. I don't know if y'all call them the same thing, but uh, that's what we do for New Year's Eve. And um, I still do that with my kids because um, I know they want to be at their own house for Christmas Day. So we just celebrate. I give them babies all their little goodies on Christmas Eve and uh, that way we can uh, sleep in <laughs> on Christmas Day. That's that's really good. We always go over to my uh, sweet little in-law's house on Christmas Day. So we get to spend some family time together. But uh, when my kids were little and we all lived around my mom and daddy, oh, that was just a big time. All the grandkids. All right, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, y'all. Look at that. It looks magnificent. Now, um, maybe if I have some little white chocolate or a little... Uh, any kind of little melting chocolate, I might do a little zigzag on it, do a little something, who knows. Uh, get creative, get festive, but um, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and uh, then we are going to start uh, dipping some goodies, y'all. And clean up my mess right here real quick. All right, got the fudge in the refrigerator. I got these little mound bars out and they are good and cold. Um, ready to be dipped. So I'm gonna start with this chocolate. We will start melting this up. And um, you wanna melt it about 30 seconds at the time, just like I melted those Andy's candies. Um, just get something and dig into this. Here we go. And uh, I looked high and low y'all yesterday, y'all, for this almond bark. I looked, um, I went to three different stores looking, so apparently everybody's making them some goodies now. But um, finally, a uh, good old Audi didn't let me down. So um, got me some chocolate from there, and it's just the almond bark. So, uh, just like what I was gonna buy in Walmart anyway. So, it was even a little cheaper. How about that? All right, we are going to try to break this off. Lordy. Lord Jesus. Here we go. All right, I've got six, seven, eight squares in here, and I'm gonna just put her in the microwave. Give it a little zip zip, 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir. Nothing exciting. Y'all, this is some stubborn chocolate. I've uh, now cooked it for about a minute and a half. So, um, but it is loosening up as I stir it here. I don't wanna overcook it, like I said. I'm just gonna give it a little stir. Maybe it'll keep on going, keep on melting. Like those Andy's chocolate did. Those, I just kept stirring those and they, they melted right up. This bowl is hot as fire, I about burnt my fingers off. We don't need that in our life. All right, give it a little stir, stir. All right. Oh yeah, she's loosening up now. If it don't melt in this old hot bowl, I'm telling you, it ain't gonna. It's starting to look like it's supposed to. Still got three uh, little hunks of chocolate in there though. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be just fine. All right, I'm getting my little spoon back over here. And if it does harden up on you, you can stick it back in the microwave just for a little minute. For a few seconds and it'll it'll uh, loosen right back up. All right, let's try one. I'm gonna do dipper in, give it a flip. Little flip there. Now, I'm gonna take this fork just like I did with the uh, the other candy and I'm gonna knock that excess chocolate off. 
Cause I'm gonna need some uh, chocolate for the rest of them. Don't want this one, take it all. I'm just gonna scoot that down there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, I'm gonna give this one a little roll. Give it a little alligator roll. <laughs> all right. Lord, I'm making all that racket. The dog's down there like, just hush already. Renfro, she's in there chasing her tail, y'all. She's, she's um, hard at it. All right. These are gonna be delicious. My mama loves Almond Joys. So I bet she tries this one. Ugh, here we go. Knock off some of this excess. I've got a Christmas party on Wednesday at work. I still hadn't decided what I'm gonna take. So, um, might be taking some goodies like this. Come on. That one had to think real hard about sliding off. All right, y'all, I'm just gonna continue dipping these. Um, you get the gist of it. Just uh, stick them in there, drop and roll, not the excess off. But uh, these, my goodness, were just so, so easy. And it's gonna look like, once again, like you put a lot of time in this. You've done made some candy bars, low. Anyway, I'm just gonna finish dipping these and then I will be right back with what we're gonna do next. starting to set up just beautifully so simple simple just some uh, sweetened um, coconut some powdered sugar and some uh, sweetened milk a little vanilla almonds and chocolate super simple so I'm done with these you can see that didn't take me uh, no time at all been five minutes to uh, get these rolled and done so i'm only gonna uh show one more thing um on this video we might have a little uh part two but um i'm gonna show you while my chocolate is hot some of the uh peanut butter ritz dipped crackers those are so good so i'm gonna start uh, melting my chocolate y'all don't need to see all that i've already showed you how to do that 30 seconds 30 seconds and um I'll show you what we're gonna do next. All right, y'all, I'm having a little camera issue. My uh, camera is just sick of me at this point. So I went ahead and started doing these, but I'm gonna show you uh, now that my camera has joined me again, um, what you need to do. So you just need some Ritz crackers, some peanut butter. And once again, I just got some cheap one from Aldi, um, $1.85. And um, you're just gonna build these little sandwiches. I do like the, the um, the nice side up on both sides so we're covering the bottoms of the cracker and that's totally just uh what i like to do and we're just going to build us a little cracker and dip it in some chocolate and uh let her go don't take but a few minutes to do it and it is such a nice little treat your babies will love it. Your grandbabies will love these. Your hubbies will love them, everybody. But um, I'm just gonna get them made here. And dip them in chocolate. All right. Now, you get that uh, chocolate good and hot. I pick them up with a fork and I just kind of tap it against the bowl just like this. I'm gonna use my little 
Same little knife there to just slide it off. You want to get as much of that excess chocolate off as you can with them um, out being stingy. And just going to flip them. Same as I showed you with the uh, little uh, almond joys that we made. All right. I'm just going to put him right here. But it goes by really quick. Um, it's just a nice little, quick little treat. We'll slide that right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all why my camera's still with me. I uh, put some white chocolate and melted it. And um, I've got it in this little bag and it's hot. And I just clipped just a little tiny corner. And I'm just going to um, go across it with the white ice and with the white chocolate. You could put sprinkles on this. You can just do whatever you want to do with this. Here we go. Something quick. But that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, look how pretty they look. So nice. All right. That is uh, about all I can do before my camera dies. <laughs> I'll be right back after she's charged up just a minute and um, just kind of put it all together for you and show you what we did. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Done. The goodies are ready. Goodies are ready. Y'all know it's my favorite time of uh, how we do this. Yeah. But truth be known, I've been sampling all along as she's made every step. I've. We both know, have, y'all. You, you know, you have to make sure it's you safe have for the kids. To taste you know? it. Yeah, you gotta it's make sure it's good. It's gotta be safe for the children. Yeah, it's for the children. I don't know who children. all's getting this, but they're lucky. Um, it's gotta go out the house because I can't have all it this. You can't much. have That's all that sugar. Um, no. Yeah. Um, uh, here's, the here for some of here's the little tray. Here's the little tray, y'all. It looked really easy to make, y'all. It's very simple. I I wouldn't throw anything difficult at you, and um, this is really simple. Be some good gifts for people. It's yes, that's what I'm doing. Some good from for listen from. Uh, Goodies from your kitchen, from goodies from to heart. gifts. That is that is what it's yep. about. Yes, yep. come from the heart. Yep. Uh, my favorite out of everything, I think that I that I tasted, which I tasted everything, was uh, the uh, almond joys. The almond joys. Oh man, it was oh, a hit. Did. It oh, was man. a hit, y'all. Those yep. and the uh, peanut butter dip peanut butter. Some, yes, uh, the Ritz's. Ritz. The I, like, Ritz I like Ritz and peanut butter anytime yep. anyway. Yep, and um, we I did the little thin mints first. We, we nibbled on that. Everything was delicious. I, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I don't really one above the others is really like just nitpicking. Yeah, this. and y'all, I, I just made some little uh, turtles with the the um, chocolate that I had left over. I had some pecans, and I just whipped those little pecans in there, put them on some uh, wax paper, and uh, called it a day. But we didn't want to waste that chocolate. Yeah, um, uh, we yeah. had a watcher. You did the other yes, Christmas candy Yes, Miss Belinda. And they asked for more. So whoever did that, yes. thank you. <laughs> he's he's loving it. it. He's yeah, loving it. it. Yes. Hopefully y'all yes. try it, man. It's, uh, I'm going to tell you, all, every bit of it was good. And it, it didn't is. look very hard to make. So. No, no. It, and, and I still had more to go, but we're going to make a part two. Cause, yeah, we um, don't want to make it so long. You know? Yeah. It, it's, uh, we don't want to bore you. And, uh, uh, well, we wouldn't give, you know, we understand yeah. people got lives to live. They don't yeah, have time Yeah, y'all got stuff to do. We wish y'all had all day sit around and watch our videos, that would yeah, be great. Yeah, that would be most good. Most people don't. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate what you do watch. Yes, We're um, every, thankful for that. Of you and, and yeah. we appreciate all of it. Yep. Yep. But this is our little goodie tray and um I actually bought some little um little gift bags from uh, the Dollar Tree and um you can stick these little goodies in it and make a little pretty bow on it. Uh you can make doll a great these gift. up. Make yeah. A great gift. Yes, it does. I'm telling you, uh teachers and co workers love these kind of things and um and you can really get by with um, doing it on the cheap too. Um, those little, uh, the little chocolates and stuff. It was three dollars in Aldi, and I think it was three dollars and something. But it was a big tray, and um, I only wore, I only heated one of those trays for all of these things, and. Um, 
So, and uh, I had one box of Ritz that um, I think I still have one roll left, and that was uh, two for six, so that was $3. And um, the peanut butter, I told you, it was it was on the cheap and everything, so you can get all this stuff. Um, I mean, it was less than, uh, I'd say less than $12 for everything on here. That's a lot of goodness. And you could, up. yes, and you <laughs> can split this up. I mean, one person ain't gonna eat all this. Ooh. So um, you can split it up, make little gifts. And, I would um, say probably eight, ten people probably. What do you think is that? I much? would, I would say uh, maybe six, six to, to eight, eight mm -hmm, yeah. maybe. Yeah. So, um, so you know, like two bucks a person for a gift. Yeah. So that's not bad. Did I math right? I don't know. I was. I'm still staring was, at the yeah. food. I can't, I, it anyway, I may not. It's, it's late <laughs> for me. Away, I'm tired, y'all. I've been standing here doing these little yeah, goodies. she's been putting a lot of love in today. So, um, no, it really didn't take that long. It was just I waited till late in the day to do it. That was my bad. But um, And then the camera died on me, and I was like, Lord, this chocolate is ready to go, and the camera was not. So, but um, all anyway. You, all you followers that do YouTube, you understand how the camera Yes, the camera's it's just, just being it. ugly. It's part of it. Don't matter how much you spend on the camera or whatever you're gonna have camera issues it's gonna happen yeah so but anyway we sure appreciate you watching we this did. thank you very much i hope you uh, learned something out of this make and uh, make these little the goodies care about i love them I promise. new year's eve christmas eve these yeah, are man. great yep. great great and you can uh you can do these all kind of different way for valentine's day you can uh, dress these up with a uh, pink and red chocolate um so keep it in mind put it in your little recipe box save it yep yep all right y'all Till next time. Peace. All right, y'all. Welcome back into the show. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> show. <laughs> what episode is this? This is episode number 54. Oh, damn.